Hi. In Evermotion, we create our scenes mainly for architectural visualizations with high quality assets. In this movie, we would like to show you how to work with our scenes, how to change the quality in the viewport by using different settings in Unreal Engine, and how to render the animations in the highest quality. Once the scene is running, all the settings are set to minimum quality so that it can also be run on a weaker hardware configuration. The most popular mid-range graphics card at the moment is the RTX 4070, but this scene runs fine on an RTX 2080 Ti. Meshes aren't converted to Nanite in that project because there aren't many instances of them, and therefore there wouldn't be much from using Nanite. Of course, meshes can be converted if required. Keep in mind that you shouldn't convert meshes to Nanite that have a glass material in it. Anisotropy will also not work on Nanite assets. The first option that affects the quality and performance of the viewport is screen percentage, which doesn't affect the final quality of rendering still images or animation. You can also change the quality of scalability from high to cinematic, but with higher GPU requirements, or use any of the other options. These changes also have no effect on the quality of still rendering or animation. Another option is to increase the number of samples per pixel in the lights. Only increase these values for the lights that have a global effect on the scene, the direct light and the lights behind the windows. You can enable megalights to increase GPU performance. Using megalights change the type of shadows in the scene. The final option that affects the quality of the rendered animation is in the post-process volume settings, lumen, global illumination, and reflections. The default values should be set to maximum. Once the settings have been changed from default to higher values, you can start rendering still images or animated sequences. In the plugin section, load the movie render queue. After restarting, Enable the level sequence with the camera sequence prepared for stills rendering. Then, load the preset. Click Render Local or Render Remote. If you are rendering remotely, close the scene. Rendering using the path trace method requires some materials to be adjusted as they behave differently in Lumen and Path Trace. Then switch on the preset with the Path Trace settings and click Render Local or Remote 